welcome back to my vlog. My name is Morgan, also known as But On Done on Instagram, and I'm so excited you're joining me for this weekend vlog. I'm going to show you a lot of apartment updates and a lot of self-care society updates. If you don't know what self-care society is, it is my five-week ebook and guide that is all designed to help you fall deeper in love with yourself. It showcases all different sorts of self-care so that you can find something that works best for you and it's meant to showcase how self-care can be super attainable it doesn't have to cost a lot of time or money to greatly impact other areas and relationships in your life so we kicked off a new round because i like to do it as a community on the 28th and there were over 150 people that signed up so a huge huge community and it is the most empowering, inspiring thing ever. We have a chat in Slack, um, and today we have our first retreat. So just gonna make some matcha. I just obviously ice rolled and did some of my morning skincare routine, and then going to make breakfast and get ready for this retreat. my daily check-in and my self-care society journal I just got mine printed at FedEx but you can do this digitally as well it is super accessible to you um, I always do I'm drinking my coffee or matcha but just wrote down my morning matcha my morning skincare routine which you saw and then we'll have the retreat shortly so throughout the day I will fill this out it will be give me a lot of good time to reflect whether it's throughout the day or at night um, I wrote that I'm feeling excited my intentions are to be present and celebrate your wins and then I love this quote um, by Sophia Joan Short. I was just looking at her Instagram. She's one of my favorite quote accounts, so I just wrote that. Some seasons you see growth, others you clear space for it. And then I'll show you a little bit more of what the guide looks like. Tomorrow we will have time to share our reflections from the week, some activities, and then we'll move into environment week, which is honestly maybe my favorite, so I'm really excited. These are just some forms of self-care ideas, a place to set intentions, and then we move into the daily check-in. So much that we're doing this round is sharing all of our check-ins in the Slack as well. So the whole community is sharing, whether it's their templated digital versions or pictures of what they wrote down, and it's just so encouraging, it's amazing. And then in the Slack, we're also sharing just updates and all that goodness up <laughs> what's the weather up <sighs> okay so just shot for a brand partnership which I genuinely tortured will during but we got the shots um, and then I got ready put on this really cute free people movement outfit it's from a little over a year ago but it's one of my faves just gonna grab some turkey bacon, which we like to cook in the oven, and get ready to get started.
It's like so dark. I'm riding a high from that retreat. It was literally the best start to a Saturday. I am so grateful for all the ladies that were able to join, all of my great friends who were able to lead parts of the workshop. It was so special. The best morning. I am currently like stuffing my face since I just was throwing bacon in my mouth before. So I just made an English muffin, had some eggs. And I'm just gonna shower because now we are getting ready to go to like a pumpkin patch, apple orchard, Paige and Mary Kate. So today is a busy, fun day, kind of related around fun undone stuff. Um, and I'm so excited to take you with me and excited for what's ahead with Self Care Society and just so grateful for this community that has brought me so much joy in a week that otherwise would have been a lot more anxious. So. I am just going to get ready for the orchard we're going to. Um, I just did my post shower skincare and I'm wearing my Brooklinen waffle robe, which is twisted right now, but it is the best robe in the entire world. Um, I'm so excited to be working with Brooklinen. I'm literally obsessed with their sheets, their robes, their towels, and this is just the cutest, like lightest robe. Like it doesn't make you sweat, if that makes sense. I feel like some robes are really comfy, but they get really hot. Um, but yeah, I just love it and I think it's so cute. I wanted to show you guys as I get ready. So running late, which is like not unusual for me. It's something I'm working on. Um, but I just had stuff to do after the retreat and I had to eat and everything. So I'm about to get ready. I don't know if I'll show you guys, but I plan on doing a makeup routine video soon. So stay tuned for that if it doesn't happen today. Okay, this is my look. Just some jeans and a turtleneck. It's actually like 50 something degrees out today. So. We're going cozy, but bringing a few outfits so that I have the option to shoot in them. I'm going to pack my bag now, and then we are headed out. It's about an hour away. It's super chill. I love long car rides, and I feel like, because I don't have a car, I really look forward to them, so I'm pumped. So I'm just pumped to do all the fall things, not just for the car ride, I should say that. do like a mini apartment tour, show you guys where I'm at so far with things, but please ignore the Poshmark pile. Um, just wanted to show you the outfit and a full length mirror and it feels good to wear a sweater I feel like I really need to get some new fall clothes but this just like feels really cozy and cute right now also this top is from this boutique here Alice in Wonder it's a chenille sweater I don't think I have the link for it anymore unfortunately um, and then Stuart Weitzman boots and belts were a gift um, and then the jeans are good American Say hi. <laughs> I want those leggings so badly. Yeah, girl. Look. Dr. Vegetable. <laughs> Brad go. Yo. Wow, it is busy. Giant pumpkins. Outfit. Number two. Hey. Hey, hey. I feel like you should be like, oh my over. goodness. Well, take over here. I just need my Starbucks cup and we're ready to go. Basic <laughs> AF. We're here for it. Why is it like nagged at my head so much? <laughs> Okay, so I didn't vlog at dinner, but Mary Kate Page and I got true food, which is our absolute favorite. So I'll put in a clip from my phone here. But I did leave the orchard with apple cider donuts, which are Will's favorite, and I just ordered ingrained, and I just have to show you guys what I got. I'm not eating it right now because it's late and I'm tired and I just really have to unpack from the day and clean up, but I have to show you this. These are the donuts that I got at the orchard. I got these for Will, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get myself dessert too. So I got the CBD lavender blueberry cinnamon roll, which is incredible looking and the cinnamon rolls and ingrained are one of my favorites I haven't had one in so long so I've been craving it and this doesn't have the blueberry compote on it yet I'm gonna refrigerate this and then tomorrow morning when I eat it it'll be fresh blueberry on top and then I got the oatmeal cinnamon raisin cookie truffles which are just like amazing bite-sized bits and you can see if it focuses how minimal the ingredients are and how clean they are everything she makes is raw gluten-free vegan just really really amazingly sourced ingredients and 
They are just so tasty. She is such an innovative entrepreneur. She's a great friend. I can't recommend going here enough in Chicago. Um, Will actually got me a birthday cake from her too. So they really make everything. They make breads, they make raw bars. So, so many good things. And here's what we're gonna eat tomorrow. So excited for Sunday. Okay, so I will walk you guys through a little like apartment update and stuff tomorrow. But for now, I gotta clean up, go to bed. I look exhausted. I gotta wash my face. Good night. So this morning I am so tired. I think the week has just caught up to me, but wearing my new Eberge pajamas, they are worth the hype. They live up to the hype. They are so comfy and this color obviously is my favorite. Um, but I was just making my bed. I am in the process of getting new shams and decorative pillows and I have to hang my picture behind here. I'm also going to swap out the nightstand, but this is all Brooklyn and bedding and I'm literally obsessed with it. So I've shared in vlogs and on Instagram before the Lux Core sheet set. It's a Lux Satine, really buttery, soft, just light and breathable sheets. It has truly changed my sleeping. And then I got the linen duvet from them and these sheets, this bedding has changed the game. I'm literally obsessed with Brooklyn and and everything they create, it has just redefined how I sleep and I didn't know how much sheets and bedding could change how you sleep but it is all just so light and breathable and soft and just so cozy um, and I love it and you can get $20 off off of orders of a hundred or more on the Brooklyn and website with my code bun20 okay so now I am just going to clean my apartment I have quite a few things to do on the to-do list today um, but I'm gonna just try to relax since I'm so tired it is a really nice day, but it's a really cold day. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Um, also, this lampshade is coming today, but I got these this week at Nomad, and I'm obsessed with this geode. Um, and this cabinet is from Bed Bath & Beyond, actually, and it was really affordable, so I will link it below. Okay, I'm gonna run out and get coffee because I think it's the best way for me to get some energy today. I'm gonna go to Foxtrot, which is one of my favorite places in Chicago for like the best snacks and they have really good oat milk lattes. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys, I just kind of straightened up a bit what I'm gonna do for the living room. So this is obviously gonna have a lampshade and then right here is going to be a desk and a photo and a sort of like wooden Scandinavian style chair. Not sure about this corner. I might put like another little stool there. And then I'm gonna put probably a blanket ladder here. And I'm getting two textured framed prints right here. And I think that that's pretty much it for the living room. There's just gonna be a lot more pillows and accents and I'm getting my couch clean in a couple days. I need to fluff these up. Um, so that's that, and then in here there's going to be, I just need to hang a bunch of things up. I got this really cute um, shelf that I'm gonna put like some decorative accents on, hang right here, good for like masks and keys. And then I'm gonna use this round mirror with a console table and a runner, like a blue runner. This above my dresser, and I'll have like a basket here. This space is gonna be so cute. And then I should show you guys my closet. This is the coat closet. I kind of did like jean leather, moto sweaters, and then like workout ones, raincoats, and then it gets heavier. And then I have some clothes that are more of like dry cleaning clothes and shoes down here. I am waiting on container store for more bins for shoes. Um, and then you guys have seen the kitchen, but I am getting more containers for here too, but just so you guys can see how I've kind of kept up the organization in here, doing the best I can while I'm noticing this lid isn't on all the way. Um, so I have like oils, I'm getting like a Lazy Susan for that. This is more like kind of loose baking stuff, superfoods, 
teas, I have tea bags back there, proteins. So this isn't the best it's ever looked. I will fix it up when I get another container later. Um, but it is like a really good system and it's working really well and I'm very proud of it regardless. Even if it's not totally perfect right now, it's made my life so much easier to see everything. And I'm gonna do a whole like, when I have my whole apartment tour, I'll make sure everything is perfect. So I'm like extra proud of it. Um, and then in here, things are just organized this way. This shelf actually fell the other day and glass shattered everywhere. <laughs> so I'm a little scarred by that, but nothing, nothing bad happened. Um, and then in the bathroom, I wanted to keep under the sink really minimal. So I have this just thing of my hot tools that are the ones I use most frequently. This makeup carousel, this little glass for my makeup, which I actually got as a Sephora free gift. I think it's really cute. Bath salts, toilet bowl cleaner. And then this, these are the things I reach for the most, like cotton swabs, retainer, lip balm, makeup wipes, clip, um, and then the charger for my electronic toothbrush. And then this is like hair stuff. And then these are like the larger, the larger makeup things that I need um, and like sprays and, and stuff like that. So this system has been working really well. I'll show you guys the other closet later with my more back stock stuff. It's just not looking its best right now because I'm dealing with the Poshmark stuff. But then my, I also wanted to make sure that the things in the medicine cabinet are things I actually use all the time. So this is actually kind of random up here, but this is like nail stuff, eye stuff and deodorant. Um, and then these are all like my face oils, serums and face lotions and SPF. And then these are my face masks, my self tanner and kind of like makeup brush cleaner masks um, and then sprays and body oils and then hair stuff is all down here. So this system is working really well for me. Um, I'm probably going to amp that up even more later too where it's like totally um, like color coded, I don't know. I like it by category for that purpose though just so it's easier to find. And then actually I should show you also this is um, my little like shower caddy. I get eucalyptus from Trader Joe's and I just tie it up onto this thing with a hair tie. And then this shower curtain is from Brooklinen as well. So really cute, just simple and plain um, since I have to have one keeping it simple. And then I have the same rug as last time too. So that's that. And then bedroom closet I'm really proud of. So I did long sleeves on the top and I color coded and then I go to like more sweaters and sweatshirts. And then down here I have all my jeans in kind of like color coded order. And then I go into shirts and dresses, my least worn sweatshirts there. And then this is how I did my sports bra. So I got these guys from the container store. And then these are the black and white and I put my belts in here too. Um, I'll just show you this side. Once again, I feel like I should have shown this more the day I did it because now I'm like, it's not perfect, but it is really holding up well. And I love the bins I got on top from Container or actually from Amazon as well. They really make a difference with the sweaters that I also color coded. So very proud of this and happy with how it's holding up. It is the most perfect fall day outside. I am also wearing my italic sunglasses that are my absolute faves. to have lunch dessert and try this ingrained so you guys can watch me in action as I have my reaction to it. Look at this. And then she has the blueberry compote I can put on top, but I just wanna taste it by itself right now. So we're gonna do that first. And I don't have a clean fork, so we're gonna use a spoon. I need to, I think. I'm 
think heating this up would be amazing too, but I just like want like a little piece right now. Get some of the granola on it. Oh my God. That's really good. It's lavender, C it's lavender, blueberry, CBD. So it has, this has lavender in it. And then when you add the blueberry on top, that's where the blueberry is, but it just makes it taste like really light. Oh my God, it's so good. It's really unique. But I love when she makes lavender CBD things. I like get them every single time. So had to get this. She changes her menu every single day. So when I saw this, I was like, gotta try this while you have it. I'm looking for a napkin and I can't find one. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna have more of this later, but I had to try and share it with you guys because like, look at this. Insanity. I feel like this vlog is kind of all over the place, but I am going to head to Sephora. And after that, I have a couple things to do for work. We have our check-in tonight. So I'm gonna make sure everyone has the link for that. And then I also have a content draft to do for Tula. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I shot that yesterday morning. I'm gonna submit that now. I realized I don't really show you guys um, on any form of social media what I'm doing work-wise. And there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, especially when it comes to partnerships. So wanted to share that and I definitely want to share more of that moving forward. I'm actually working on a blog post about that too. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get a little bit of work done. I think the rest of the day we're going to head to Sephora first and I will show you what I get. I need like some skincare. I can't find my favorite lip gloss. I'm going to get into one of those. I get a new highlighter. I feel like whenever I go to Sephora, I like plan to get two things and I leave with like 10. So going to try to practice self-control today, but we will see. I also have a feeling it's gonna be really crowded, so we'll see on that too, because that might affect how much I get. I just got home from Sephora. I have no self-control in the store. It's really bad, but I needed a lot of things, so we're gonna justify it today. Um, but first I'll just show you the free gifts I got with my points. I love glass straws. I prefer them to any other reusable straw, like a metal straw. Um, and I thought these were cute because they're pink. So I got that as a free gift and then I got more of the Benefit Give Me Brow, which I've used before and I like, and I like the small size of it. Okay, so next I got a highlight brush because right now I have one of the fan brushes and I feel like I'm gonna like this more. So, gonna try that. So this felt kind of like an investment. And then my favorite lip gloss, I'm actually going to unpack this. Okay, so this is my favorite lip gloss by Patrick Ta. It's the She's Expensive one. Um, it's just such a pretty shimmer to put over a lip liner or a lipstick or just by itself. I just love a neutral gloss because my lips are a little bit darker on their own. Um, so the more neutral tends to look better on my skin tone and my lip color, but this one is amazing. Um, and then I got this highlighter that's just like a really, really natural kind of liquid highlighter. I will show you guys as well. Okay, so I just majorly flubbed and when I was just trying to do this, put my camera into this. So my camera is now glowing, but it's fine. It didn't ruin it. Um, but this is just a like really, really, I don't know if you can see, a really, really faint glow. I feel like this lighting is not showing it. Instead of like a normal, more pigmented highlighter. So it's like really natural and good for the daytime. So I'm excited about this. And this was only $18. So I thought worth a shot. Um, and then I love this brand Tatcha. Um, obviously I've been getting a lot of clean beauty lately and I've gotten this before and I really liked it. This Tatcha Do Skin Face Moisturizer that focuses. There we go. So this Do Skin Cream works so well. I have really dry skin and it is just like my favorite lately. So I ran out of that a few weeks ago and my skin's really been dry so thought it was time for a restock and then since I like this brand so much I wanted to try their face wash as well so I need cream-based cleansers I love my eminence one 
but it's almost out and I was kind of just in the mood to try something new. So I got the Tatcha rice cream rice wash and it just sounds really soothing and nourishing and gentle. So we're going to try this out. Um, and I think that with the combination of the other Tatcha product is going to be really great. So we'll give that a whirl and then just got a new beauty blender because I needed it. Mine was like old and I feel like that's gross. And then I got, so I have the Laneige lip mask and this is like a, I'm going to actually try this now, a lip glowy balm. So this is a more like an on the go version of it. Ooh, that tastes really good too. So this is pear. Really like that. And sorry that it's cutting me off, guys. I just thought that this was the easiest way to show the product. So we're doing it like this for now. And then lastly, I needed an eye cream. My biggest skin concern, aside from my dryness, is my dark circles. So, which you can really tell today because I'm so tired. Um, I just haven't been sleeping well lately, which is a whole other topic. But um, I do this to myself because I stay up late for no reason. But I got this Goop Jeans all-in-one nourishing eye cream. I just love Goop. I love Gwyneth Paltrow, I'll admit it. Um, and I was just really intrigued by this and the reviews were really good. Like people said they really helped their dark circles and really helped brighten the area. So since that's my number one concern, I figured I would try it. So that's everything. I definitely, literally, I plan to get the lip gloss, a face lotion, maybe a highlighter and a brush, but the face wash and the eye cream, I would say, and the beauty blender were kind of like spontaneous purchases, but things I need um, or was out of and was gonna get in the next couple of weeks anyways. So I actually went and looked at my cart in the app and was like, I'm just gonna go walk there and get it myself versus waiting for it to deliver. So. I did pretty much stick to the list, but I'm really excited about everything that I got, and I hope that you guys like it. I'll share after I use it, of course. Um, since they're really, really, really COVID safe there, I couldn't like put anything on me. Um, so I think that having purchased it now, actually trying everything is going to be really exciting because I haven't even like put it on my skin yet. But I know I already like and have used a lot of these products, so... It'll just be fun to try to start using this for my highlighter and try that new, um, try the new highlighter and the new eye cream. I'm excited to see how that works. So yeah. Guess who's back, 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 back again. <laughs> Hey, there's a new David Attenborough documentary out. The guy that went viral on Instagram? It's about nature. I'm sure. Nietzsche. <laughs> Ruby! No, not me. Ruby. Ruby, say hi. <gasps> you want ice? Oh my god, that face. <laughs> Ruby, do you want do you want ice? Do you want ice? <laughs> Ruby, you want ice? Yeah. And she goes a little bit different with the treat because it's not like. Look at her face. Look She's her so face. funny. He beeps.
morning, it's Monday. I am just going to do my morning journaling, set my intentions for the week. This is week two of Self Care Society Environment Week. I'm a little cold, so I also throw on my merch, um, but just making coffee. Gonna have my little mindful moment while I'm disconnected, do this, meditate a little bit, and then get ready for my workout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it's a little bit all over the place, but really, truly what my weekend looks like, a little bit of work, um, a little bit of time with friends, and it was a really great weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe, and know that you can book, you can purchase, and join Self Care Society at any time as well. So I'll put that in the link below too. Bye.